Okay guys, seeing as though I'm not feeling all that great today, this will probably be a relatively short video. I was looking through the RF Tools mod, and there is a workbench that this mod adds. It's basically just a regular crafting bench, but it has a an inventory slot down here at the bottom. That can be useful, I guess. And it says you can also use processors and stuff to like automate crafting somehow with it. I'm not going to do much with it right yet. What I really like to take a look at is this environmental controller. I played around this with this in a creative world and from what I see what it does is it basically adds all of these potion effects with the, through these cards. You have regeneration, speed, haste, uh, saturation, stuff like that. It uses RF to apply potion effects in an area. That sounds like it could be really useful, especially for like inside your base or something to get around quicker or something like that, or to restore your health or keep your hunger topped off. It'd be really cool. So the environmental controller, it just takes four ender pearls, a block of diamond, a block of gold, a block of emerald, and a block of iron along with a machine frame. And those machine frames, I'm sure I've went over the recipe before, but it's just two lapis, two gold ingots, and four iron. I have a C15 of them here. So then we need a block of gold, not electrum, gold. There's the block of gold, and a block of emeralds. A block of diamond and a block of iron. Where is all my iron at? Am I seriously out in this chest at least? Huh, I must be, or else I'm blind. I don't know. Now nah, there's plenty here. And also, I crafted one of these pedestals, and all it is is just a display stand for basically anything. If you, how do you get it off? Okay, shift right click. Oh, I had some experience there too. Right click to place whatever on the pedestal, and shift right click to get it off. I'm pretty sure you can put just about anything on there. Not even the angel ring. It'd be useful for like an armory or something to have like all of your equipment like set up with uh, these pedestals. It's kind of like the item frames really, except it's in a block form and you can just hang it on the wall I guess. I don't know. Okay, so back to this environmental controller. There's all the blocks. I need four ender pearls and I should be good to go. Okay, there's the environmental controller. Now for these cards, you can set multiple cards to, so this is gonna need an access to our, uh, so let's just throw it up here for now. And then it is outputting through the top. Okay, good deal. Yeah, it's got slots here on the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different cards you can put in. But the more cards you put in, the more RF per tick it's going to cost. You can set your radius too. This is 50 blocks from the controller block at a height between 30 and 70. Let's see, I'm currently at wire level 78, so I'm going to have to increase that. Actually, how high is the ground? So I'm actually in the basement here. Okay, so ground level looks to be about 90. So maybe, actually what's the lowest I go down to? Do 70 to 95 or so. Seventy. Ninety-five. That erased my seventy, didn't it? Why? There we go. 
and a radius of 50 blocks, that sounds probably too... What's the radius of 50? I don't know, we'll leave it like that for now. We'll see what the energy costs are like. Okay, so the cards themselves, I'd like to get regeneration. Uh, what does that say? Uses 0.0015 RF per tick per cubic block. So yeah, that'll go up quite a bit. Recipes aren't anything too complicated at all. We're going to need these syringes. That's actually going to take a golem mob essence. And the syringes are iron ingots in a glass bottle. The way these work is after you craft one, you just go find whatever mob and punch it with a syringe, and then it will gradually fill up with essence. Uh, let's see, we have glass. Actually, I have everything right here, don't we? I need more iron. There's a glass bottle. Do I have any in here? No. Okay, glass bottles. I'm going to need, let's say I get three per. I'm thinking I want regeneration speed and saturation the rest don't seem too useful for like a uh, base effects that makes any sense except for like feather falling and peaceful and flight but I have other items that basically add in that the peaceful I get from those charms and flight I have from my angel ring and the feather falling I have the long fall boots so yeah kind of useless so yeah, I'll just need three of these syringes. And it was glass bottle, along with two iron ingots. Okay, awesome. Throw that back in there. And I need a golem essence. Uh, let's see, speed is a horse. And saturation is a zombie. The horse and zombie should be pretty easy, but the golem, I don't know. And there are different tiers too. Like the first one, that's just like regeneration one, and then the regeneration plus gives regeneration three. It's going to cost more RF per tick, and you'll also need to fill up two more syringes, it looks like. I think I'll be fine with just the standard level. So. Let's go outside and see if we can find a horse or a zombie or something like that. The golem, that might be just a little more difficult. Let's see, I see plenty of cows and creepers and pigs. More cows. Okay, here's a zombie. I found plenty of donkeys too, but no horses yet. So the way this works, like I said, you just hold the syringe and then you just hit whatever with it. And if you look down there in the hot bar, you can see it filling with red. Once it's completely full, we have 100% essence level. That's all there is to that. So now, wow, I just fell in a hidden lake. I need to find a horse and a villager golem. Oh, and on my way to this village, I happen to cross a group of horses here. So hopefully I can find that golem over there too. If not, I may have to end up just making my own. And I can't exactly remember how to do that. I know it's blocks of iron. I don't know what you use for the head. And I'm not seeing one. I don't know why I keep losing my angel ring for some reason. I don't know if the if my water mills are becoming unloaded or something. I don't know. It's like I'm losing all grid power or something. Yeah, I don't see any golems. What is this? Oh shoot, these are these waste stones. I forgot all about these. Okay, let's go check. I don't have any experience levels, do I? Uh, let's kill some zombies and let's go check that other village. Okay, well, 
want this deer to work. Awesome. Okay. I forgot all about these, and these are craftable too, aren't they? Yes, they are. It takes stone bricks, obsidian, and a warp stone, which is just purple dye, ender pearls, and emerald. It's not too bad. Okay, please let there be a golem. I do not see one anywhere. And this is a pretty large village, too. I see an ancient golem. That is the complete wrong one, though. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to base and make my own. Okay, so I'm pretty sure to make these golems, it's just four blocks of iron and a pumpkin on top for the head, I think. I think it's something like the wither, isn't it? Like so. And then a pumpkin. Aw, oh, sweet, that worked. Awesome. Okay, so... Don't attack me, please. Okay. Good deal. And he's not even angry. Huh. Okay, so... Now we need... I can't remember what else those cards take. Gold, redstone, and ink sacks. and redstone. Okay, so we want regeneration, speed, I actually have a saturation, but whatever, and speed. Now hopefully this doesn't drain too much RF. I don't think it will because this isn't really a huge area and it's just the basic tiers. Looks like the furnaces are keeping up. And I think a quarry is still going too, as a matter of fact. Or maybe it finally finished. That looks like it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I still have that bottom row, it's not even going. So it doesn't seem like it's taking too much energy to run that thing. Let's see, 714 RF per tick, yeah, that's not too much at all. Let's go check out the radius. It should be pretty easy because I'll keep these effects. Speed, regeneration, and saturation. So that does fill up my hunger too, I see. That is awesome. So now when I'm at base, I should be re replenished back up to full hunger and full life. And I have a speed bonus too. See, I think I'm still within the area here. I should be. Probably even. If it reaches the end of this bridge, that would be awesome. I don't know if it's gonna go that far. See if that if the buffs don't come back, then I'll know. Okay. So this is outside the range. When the buffs come back, I'll know the limit. Still nothing. Okay, I might have to increase it a little bit. Or move it. Okay, so it seems to be about right here. Yeah, it might be a better idea just to move it because it's way over here. And if I put it closer to, actually, if I put it like right on this, that would work really well. So that's about centered. There's a 
flux plug already over there. Okay, so I should be able just to break this, and it even keeps the cards, I'm guessing? That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want the speed 3, because I might end up moving too fast. I don't know if I'd want that on permanently. Okay, environmental controller, we'll stick it right... Well, right there. Yeah, that should reach all the way over here, no problem. Yeah, I just saw it replenish. As long as it's within this top area, it should be fine. See, I'll be out of range if I go up any higher, but that's no biggie. Okay, so that is the environmental controller. And like I said, I'm not feeling too great at all, so I think I'll just go ahead and end this video here. This will be a little on the short side, but oh well. Next time, I don't know what we'll take a look at, but I'll see you guys then.